Hello, 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 Internet! I'm Raft of Five Games, today I'm joined by Deathly08. Deathly. Hello there, Earthlings, Martians, and International Overlords. I am Deathly. So today, me and Deathly have come up with an interesting topic to talk about. Today we're going to talk. We're going to be talking about Smurfs, nerds, and what they have in common, and where they come from. And so, and so, essentially, this is more of a speculative thing. I am. I plan on being a marine biologist or just general biologist. So I know a lot about of DNA and all that stuff. And Omar, I mean, Deathly watches a bunch of cartoons. They're okay. good cartoons, man. Okay. Yeah. So. So this video is, is, is hopefully will be part of a series. If you guys enjoy it, please like, please like it. That helps me a lot. And if you and if you really want to, you can subscribe. Okay, Smurf, what's the big deal? What's the big deal about Smurfs? We're, so me and Omar have come up with two separate theories. We have the main theory that we both agree with, and one that seems to be just about right. So there's two theories. There is one where they come from magic and clay, like the Gargamel theory. We'll call it that, right, Omar? I mean, Deathly. Uh, sure. Yeah, I already said that name. Uh, and so, and then, and then, and then we're gonna go with the main one where they they are they are indeed an organic spirit. They are an organic species that we just follow around one specific tribe, right? Okay, so Deathly... Yeah, somehow we managed to make Smurf nerds and some some tadpoles, you know? Oh no, no, the Smurf tadpole thing is is cursed. Yeah, I might I might have to do a a, a MS a, I might have to do an MS Paint version of that because also guys be warned my MS Paint skills are terrifying. So all the art in this thing oh, is no. all the art is is going to be either done by some other website or an official pic picture of Smurfs or me taking two clip images and rubbing them against each other. Uh, hopefully not. So, let's dive deeper. So, if you guys, this is, so, I'm not the best at visual effects or art, and I, we don't have, I'm the, I am the editor. And so, essentially, all the images for this video are going to be stagnant. And so, pretty much, if you're, if you're, like, if you're working on something in the background and you want to, like, listen to how Smurfs are made, it helps a lot to leave it on. Okay, so... Let's start off with theory A, the Gargamel theory. So essentially, so we've just we've, we've devised that Gargamel is the keeper of the Smurfs. That that is that, that the accurate title? Um, I mean, has, I guess he has to be a keeper. He has to be keeper of the Smurfs because if you think about it, his great great grandfather maybe. May, might have made them out of clay. The first two, Papa and Mama Smurf. Yes, Mama Smurf yeah, does I'd exist. Say, I'd say. No, I'd say that it's only one great, not great great. Okay, so yeah, that like, makes what, sense. That makes sense. Four generations. Four? No, because great. No, just no, just grandpa. His grandpa. Yeah, his no, no, his great grandfather. Because that's three generations. Great is three. Uh. Okay, so. No, it's not. Hold on. No, yes, it's not. You have. You, you have. You have his. Gargamel, mother. mother, father. That's three. Right, okay, so okay, no, you're right. Yeah, that yeah, great, great is four. So as you as you can see, me and me and Deathly do struggle with math. <laughs> I mean, I have masters on it in my last. Yeah, that does. I mean, well, actually, we're both really good at math, but when it comes to basic math, our brain kind of just flunks out. We we can we can do the hardest problems, but not do one plus one is two. Okay. So back on topic. Anyways, back, back to Smurfs. So yeah, so essentially, Gargamel is the essentially he he's the guy who's he, he's he's like the he's that he's that responsible for making the first Smurfs. But he is so how the Smurfs work is what we think for the first theory is that a Gargamel, Gar, Gargamel's father, had made a brand ha, grand, grandfather had made a brand new species of things out of clay, zapped them with lightning, and you know. Presto bingo bapo bango had created these one species that are able to give birth like they're only able to give birth once and they just so happen to be male which is the really simple and they their life cycle their lifespan must be the length of dwarves This makes less sense than dwarves like Huh? No, I tell I tell the average smurf lifespan is like 150 years that makes sense, and but they do they do age like human beings, so they just happen to be they, they no they don't age like they, like their physical appearance ages like human beings, 
So when they're 100, they're going to look like 100 years old, yeah. you know? Okay, that is essentially, that is that is theory A. Omar, do you want to define a little bit more about, about that? I mean, definitely. Sorry. Um, we didn't really talk about that um, before the video, so no, I got nothing to say. Nothing to say about it. So, you, so, so that 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 is, that is theory A. It does make the most sense, but it has nothing to do with nerds. And so it's probably canon. It probably it, that probably is the canon one. But again, I don't know why. But the, for some reason, when I think of a litter of 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 Smurfs, I don't think like for some reason like I can I can think about the most gross stuff in the world and like think about it and not be like bothered by it. But for some reason, litter the words litter of Smurfs. Makes my bread makes my brain tinkle, tingle. What do you think of them like cats? Yes, I've seen I've seen a cat mm -hmm. get born before. I know I know how the cat body works and stuff, which is, yeah. Okay, so now now here's now here's number B. Let letter theory yeah theory B. So <laughs> so Omar, you take the floor on this one, deathly. All right, this is nerd theory, where somehow nerds and Smurfs are connected because we said so. <laughs> so I want that on a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> because we said so. Continue. I'm pretty sure that I already is a t-shirt. Anyways, so yeah, most likely we're gonna start with the life cycle, which begins with the Papa and Mama and Mama Smurf. The Papa. So, so just... the Mama Smurf lays the eggs, and the Papa Smurf fertilizes it. And based on something, I'm not sure. Harassi might explain later. Only one of them survives, and whoever survives determines the gender of of the entire colony, which are born as the opposite as sex. nerds. The nerds come in multiple colors, but as they mature, they all start to turn blue. Okay. And as they mature, they also get assigned roles. That's why they all have different personalities, okay. fulfilling different roles. So. Then, uh, Okay, so uh, Deathly had so he had top he had top, he had like essentially Deathly got got it ninety five percent correctly. So essentially that is what we said. That is what we said. But I do want to correct some things. That so essentially uh, so how I'm gonna elaborate more and then then we continue with the life cycle. So how it first decides so a mama and papa Smurf they decided to meet up. Decided to get all all jiggy with it. You know they are they're fitty lit and bussin i those are that's all actually i'm actually pulling from a list of words i cannot say according to my friends that fitty lit and bussin is one of them and so <laughs> essentially they get groovy with they get, they get groovy with it and so whatever one is closer to death is the one that will give the birth and the sex of the group is the opposite of the sex of the birther and so whatever one so whatever one is met is is able to survive survive the best will essentially will protect and i don't know make the eggs make the make the make the unfertilized chicken eggs that we normally eat into living things and so this is actually something that it is in like real life it's not by like it doesn't happen like you know where one can just it's kind of, it's kind of like how frogs how some of them they're able to flip flop based on their conditions and standards Essentially, this would be that they're able to flip flop based on who is closer to death, more or less like a a clownfish. I'd honestly, I'd 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 would recommend watching a video about clownfish and understanding how they work if you want to know more about why Smurfs are able to be Smurfs. And so, essentially, essentially in the animal kingdom, there's essentially clownfish are like hermaphrodites, which pretty much means they're both male and female, but the female one takes a lot, over a lot longer. And also the also the the female like the, so they also have a hive mind. So whenever they grow up, they're they're all like different parts of the brain essentially, and so they're all kind of connected. That's why in the movie and show you have all these people with different personalities. Omar, continue. Deathly. All right, and as every single Smurf in the as all Smurfs in the colony mature, they begin looking for a second colony of the opposite gender. Like in the newest Smurf movie, um, the the colony we've been following along the Smurfette because reasons. Why not? <laughs> somehow find, huh? Go and find another colony of female Smurfs. 
and then eventually, eventually these smurfs will get together and they'll get jiggy with and it spread and go off in their different ways and spread yes they'll spread ac across uh, uh, they'll spread across the land and reproduce on their own screen they're each creating their own colony and each turning into mama and papa smurfs and see okay, so another and thing is, the cycle continues yeah and so the thing about this is is the fact that the reason why there's so many different Smurfs is because they're all in you know how they're all in charge of different emotions was also because genealogy and the fact that of so some Smurfs will they end up being on they end up being uh, unfertile so which pretty much means it's kind of Russian roulette and so there's only like three or four of them out of the whole entire litter that are able to reproduce. They dubbed next mama or next papa, and so the reason why this is so high is because the ne the necessary needs for those other people are strong. And so eventually you have all these people that work together like a, a big clock. And they eventually it actually wor it actually works out really nicely too on paper. Also, every time now every time you guys never every time single time you're like, wait, Rafta and Deathly, then why are nerds the candy purple, pink, or even green? Well that's because that's because those smurf those smurf species have been enslaved. And we're here to free them, ain't that right ain't that right, Deathly? Free the Smurfs. Free the Smurfs. Um, Free the Smurfs. No, I thought, I thought that, no, I, I explained <laughs> that they just, that they start as those colors and just, uh, no, Omar, in the no. blue. No, 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 Omar, we agree, we agree on the theory. Like, like a... Omar, we, I remember we agreed on the theory that, that, that each color, each flavor of nerd is a different race. They all, they all, they all, they all do the same thing, uh -huh. but just from different regions. From their different, because different environments, different blending in this, I guess. So that that is that All is right. why. That so they, they don't start off as every single color because that'd be stupid, you know. Have you ever, have you ever had a box of small box of nerds that are you know every single color? No, they're all one color, Omar. Think about that. Pigmentation and DNA does not allow right, that. Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. So yes, yeah, so the different races, and eventually you. So eventually, so. If you go back in Smurf history, there's, there's only three colors. There were the RBG, I guess. And so you know how humans were only able to produce like a, only a certain range of colors from being dark and to to light. Well, well, Smurfs they have they ha they're on a different color ratio. They have the RBG scale, which is the one that uses use that computers use. The amount of green pixels, the amount of blue pixels, the amount of yellow pixels. I screwed that up severely, but. Yeah, because white is the absence of, of all color, and black is the absence of none color. So they can, so that's why Smurfs are able to, they're kind of like Russian rouletting it the whole time. So, yeah. Oh god, um, hold on, hold on, imagine red Smurfs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's the anti-Smurf. Yeah. And wait, I, I imagine this, wait, 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 wait. Anyways, hold on, speaking of gray Smurfs, that begins us to our next topic, which I just came up with right now. Oh, okay. Uh, Smurfette, I'm she glad. was originally gray, and then became play. blue whenever she joined the colony. Oh, so you would think that maybe there's like some, there's like some sort of cult going on there? I mean, I, I do think that. I think that if... No, not a cult. Okay, so I feel like I feel like it's kind of canon that the Smurfs... I imagine it's... Hold on, hold on. They, no, hold on, hold on. They have a certain connection to mushrooms. That That's that is, obvious. Oh, yeah. So I'd say that Smurfs. the different pigmentations are based on the different, like, sports and stuff in the air. Oh, that makes way more sense, Omar. So they're all white. They're all white whenever they're initially born. Yeah, they're all... Oh, ew. White nerds. <laughs> Omar. <laughs> Omar, that it is. <laughs> so they don't say in high school. White nerds. <laughs> ew, white nerds. Wow, like... Ew, white nerds. I have learned more, and I've also been offended, too. Jeez, so I'm sorry about my, my sniffling and sneezing. <laughs> anyway. I'm having bad So, so that is... That is oh, okay, so... So, so okay, so... <laughs> okay, so... Smurfs are born white, and then... Yes. And then over time, the spores from, I'm guessing, the Smurfs or the mushrooms that they live in change their shade into change their pigmentation into blue therefore joining the hive mind of oh, the rest of the colony oh omar that is oh my no, god hold on hold on, hold on. Okay, wait 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 i just had a i just had a brain blast a brain blast oh yeah papa okay. smurf's beard papa's 
Papa Smurf's beard oh, are true. the spores. So, so wait, so so that so that means that I means... sound insane saying this. I just I just realized that I sound like a madman saying this. No, 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 wait, okay, no. But I was actually thinking of something else. Like, this would be. I was actually thinking about something else. So here, want to hear my my theory on the the whole spore thing? I do agree with the spore thing. So all nerds are born white, but depending on the different region, the diff uh, different kind of mushrooms houses they live in, they'll produce a different pigmentation. And so, so have you ever, have you ever mm -hmm. heard of the zombie ant fungus? So essentially, it could, oh, right, it could right. be that the mushrooms, the mushrooms, they, they they don't like completely take over like the the Smurfs like ability to walk, talk, and like all their personal emotions, but essentially will infect one of them with the Papa Smurf virus. But they live in symbiosis, so it eventually works out in the end. So like, so they they, they, blend, they both need each other to survive. Yeah. And okay, so they're saying that the Papa or Mama Smurf grows just hair in general. Yes, any any kind of long, any other smurf any any sort hair. of white hair. That's why all the smurfs are seen as bald. bald yeah, and it grow white. Yeah, that makes sense. That that would not make sense. Okay, so this so this is this is smurf theory. Uh, wait, 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 smurf that. You know, no, no, she no, no. has hair just in general. She's been a clay though. She's not canon to our smurf theory. Oh uh, yeah, fair enough. Fair she, enough. She, she she she's laid in a lab like 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 like, like all the other nerds. I don't know why, but I can feel like I feel I feel like the comment section is gonna grow with like nerd fascism. Grape are the best. Pink are the best. Like, t okay, so. Um, oh god, nerd fascism. Oh god, we are we are the master candy. God no. <laughs> okay, so wait. This also brings me another, another interesting topic. Uh, no, I think what's the best. What? The pink ones are the best. Okay, no. Okay. Nothing. I have to say. That all nerds are equally e are equally tasty to me because I will literally just like down a whole box like a shot glass and stain my teeth and it stain my mouth black. Anyways, back to the topic of hand. Yes, Smurf theory. Okay, continue. Sorry. So the hairs are the spores. Yeah. Okay, so the mushroom, whatever, whichever mushroom they live in, will take. Yeah will infect uh, the eldest, the oldest, eh. No, I feel like the it's more oldest. It's, I feel like it's out of random. Better chance of survival that way. No, it has to be the oldest, because, you know, no, the oldest No, is no, no, Omar, Omar, They're... Omar, Omar, that'd be contradicting ourselves. Wanna know why? Because they come in a litter. So, mm -hmm. also, it could be, remember how we said that? Yeah, the, the oldest would be the father. Omar, I mean, Deathly, the reason, the reason why, no, the other reason why would be the fact that, you remember how, how we said that, how that Smurfs, they come in like, in like a box, right? You know how nerds come in a box? And so, how, the reason why there's so many of them is mm -hmm. because some of them are actually infertile. And so, the one who's already assigned to be the Papa Smurf or the Mama Smurf, because they've been, they've been, they've probably been around since the dinosaurs age, that eventually their bodies have already been like, oh yeah, you're the fertile one, so you'll be the Smurf infected. So, it only affects the fertile ones. And it's like, it's uh -huh. like, so, so, okay, now this actually gives me some more science, so, if you, if you guys don't, if you, for people who don't know how, how viruses work, there's two different cycles, there's, there's a lytic cycle, and there's the lysogenic cycle, the lit, the lytic or lytic cycle, essentially means the cell would be actively attacking, which means like, like, not like a cold, colds are more of, they're the lysogenic ones, I'll get that, no, that, that's COVID, so, so think, think about it like this, so the lysogenic, lytic cycle pretty much means that, like, like, kind of how a cold works, it takes over your body immediately. It fights against it, and it spreads inside these cells, causing them to either to rupture, and yada yada. yada. But that, that's a more quick one. And there is the lysogenic one, which what it does is essentially it lays dormant for either ever or never, kind of like how COVID, how it needs to incubate after two weeks, and then eventually you'll see signs of it. But for some people, you'll not see it because it doesn't ever activate, but it's still able to spread. So that is essentially how the Smurf thing works. A spore, so spores will spores will only attack the fertile ones, and will and only uh, only act upon the ones who are get unlucky and draw the Smurf virus, I guess. That that makes sense, doesn't I'd it? I'd say I would, I would call the I would call the um, shoot, what would I call it? Hold on, I was gonna say the mother virus, but I think the Smurf virus. It's not or, really a virus. Or the blue virus. The Cause that one mushroom. How about the white, white hair syndrome? 
Oh, uh, right, okay, we're going with or, white hair or, syndrome. Or, no, 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 no. Or, or Crohn's disease, but um, she gets an actual disease. So no, uh, we can call it. It could be. I can, I doubt it's. A, I doubt it's a form of STD because that requires sexual interaction, and I think this technically it would be. It could technically be. Technically, it would be. It could be, but it's not really. Because it's more or less like a, it's more or less that like they're all both being hypnotized to reproduce, and essentially, the they 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 kind of like Smurfs like the pollinators. Their hats and shoes are the pollinators, and the older they get, the smaller their sh- the thin- thinner their shoes become. Uh, okay, sure. Also, I just realized this. That means Papa Smurf has a ding dong. No! God! No! God, please, no! 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 